Today, we're going to cook one of my favorite Japanese recipes for the fall season, Nikujaga, which literally means beef and potatoes in Japanese. So let's get started. Start by peeling your potatoes. Depending on the size of your potatoes, you'll want to cut them in half to ensure that they get cooked through. I like rounding off the sharp edges. This is a Japanese technique which prevents the potatoes from breaking apart. Now soak them in cold water to draw out excess starch while we prepare the other ingredients. I'm adding a small carrot to a stew to make the dish more vibrant. Peel and then slice to about quarter inch thick round pieces. Now cut half a yellow onion into wedges. Try and separate the onion layers so they can be evenly distributed in the stew. I'm using about a dozen green beans today. Slice them into 1-2 to two inch pieces. You can also use peas or edamame if you like. I usually use sliced pork belly for this recipe. But today, we're going to cook it the classic way, with beef. I'm using thinly sliced Wagyu beef from the Japanese grocery store. If you don't have one near you, you can try a Chinese or Korean grocery store. They would usually have it in the frozen meat aisle. Turn on your stove to medium-high heat and add a tablespoon of oil. Once hot, add the potatoes and onions and stir till everything is coated with oil. Now let's add the beef. Stir gently and make sure your beef pieces don't stick to each other. Once most of your beef is browned, add your dashi. I've used about 1 and 3 fourth cups in this video. But depending on your pot, you want enough dashi to just about cover your meat and potatoes. Bring to a boil and skim off any fat that surfaces to the top. You can now add the carrots. I like adding the carrots at this point so that they still have a little crunch when the stew is finished. Now add 2 tablespoons of sugar, 2 tablespoons of sake, 2 tablespoons of mirin, and three tablespoons of soy sauce. Mix gently and turn down your heat to medium. Bring to a simmer and cover with the utoshi buta for 15 minutes. If you don't have one, you can make one with tin foil. The utoshi buta allows the liquid to get more concentrated by allowing the liquid to slowly evaporate. It makes sure that the heat is evenly distributed so you don't have to turn or stir your ingredients which may cause them to break. While your stew is simmering, let's prepare the shirataki. Bring a small pot of water to boil and add your shirataki. Remove any scum that surfaces to the top and boil for a couple minutes. Doing this helps remove the fishy smell. Once it's ready, drain and rinse with cold water. 
Now cut up the shirataki and set it aside. After 15 minutes, you might want to check if your potatoes have cooked through. If it's ready, add the shirataki and beans, then cover and let it simmer for another 3 minutes. When your beans have turned bright green, your nikujaga is ready. I love eating nikujaga with rice. And if you have any leftover, it tastes even better when you heat it up the next day. Good luck in the kitchen and enjoy! Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 